I Sunil Rudra welcome you all in this news bulletin of Sand Soldier Times. Here we bring you news and views from sports, education, health and culture. Coming to sports, error prone Sindhu loses in Thailand Open semi-finals. The 26 year old from Hyderabad had also lost to Chen the last time the two faced off at the 2019 BWF World Tour finals. A profligate PV Sindhu faltered in the semi-finals of the Thailand Open, going down in straight games to Olympic champion and world number 4 Chen Yu-Fai of China on Saturday. Sindhu, a two-time Olympic medalist, lost 17-21-16-21 to third-seeded Chen in 43 minutes to end an impressive run in the Super 500 tournament. Sindhu seeded 6th enjoyed a 6-4 head to head count coming into the match but she was not her usual best and committed to many unforced errors against the chinese who played aggressive badminton to come up trumps against the indian sindhu who has won two super 300 titles at the said modi international and swiss open and a bronze at badminton asia championship this season will next compete at the Indonesian Masters Super 500 scheduled to be held in Jakarta from 7th to 12th June coming to education in view of rapidly changing world we must prepare our workforce to be ready for the challenges of the 21st century through a holistic skilling strategy said union minister of education and skill development and entrepreneurship dharmendra pradhan He was delivering the valedictory address at the 49th IFTDO World Conference and Exhibition being organized in New Delhi on the theme of Strategies for an Agile Work Culture Pathways to the New Age. While speaking on the occasion, the minister talked about the national education policy and its impetus on creating synergy between education and skilling. He said that while NEP 2020 covers students from age 3 to 23 in the formal education system we must also come up with new ideas path breaking strategies on skilling reskilling and upskilling for those who are not a part of the formal education system he also spoke about the role of technology as an enabler as well as a disruptor in the society and economy he also spoke about capacity building under the leadership of prime minister shri narendra modi there is utmost stress on capacity building in all sectors said the education minister he further highlighted the role of capacity building commission of india in looking at best practices in capacity building and creating synergy between different entities coming to health WHO calls emergency meet over monkeypox outbreak in Europe and North America. Monkeypox cases have been reported in several countries this month. The UK has confirmed 20 cases of the rare virus since 6th May. The World Health Organization has called for an emergency meeting to discuss monkeypox, a virus that is rapidly spreading across Europe and North America. The health body is expected to focus on the transmission and vaccine of the virus. Monkeypox cases have been reported in several countries this month. The UK has confirmed 20 cases of the rare virus since May 6. France, Germany and Belgium also reported their first case of monkeypox today. Monkeypox is a virus transmitted to humans from animals. with symptoms very similar to smallpox but less severe clinically the rare disease which is not usually fatal often manifests itself through fever muscle aches swollen lymph nodes chills exhaustion and a chicken pox like rash on the hands and face monkey pox can be transmitted through contact with skin lesions and droplets of a contaminated person as well as through shared items such as bedding and towels the who has also said that some of the recent cases appear to have been transmitted within the gay community there's currently no specific treatment for monkeypox 
patients will usually need to stay in a specialist hospital so that infection doesn't spread and general symptoms can be treated. And coming to culture, Kurt Cobain's Smells Like Teen Spirit electric guitar is to be auctioned today. In 1969, Fender Mustang on display in Seattle's Museum of Pop Culture is expected to have a starting price of over 600,000 US dollars. The electric guitar played by Kurt Cobain in the Smells Like Teen Spirit music video will be put up for sale this weekend by Julian's Auctions. The 1969 Fender Mustang finished in Lake Placid Blue has been on display at Seattle's Experience Music Project, now renamed the Museum of Pop Culture for the last 12 years. Discussing the instrument with Guitar World, Cobain, who was left-handed, said it was not very easy to find reasonably priced, high-quality left-handed guitars. But out of all the guitars in the whole world, the Fender Mustang is my favorite. I have only owned two of them. Cobain, who suffered from depression, died at the age of 27 in 1994. A portion of the proceeds will go to Kicking the Stigma, a national initiative by the American football team, Indianapolis Colts, and their owner, Jim Irsay. The funds will be used to raise awareness about mental health disorders and to remove the stigma too often associated with these illnesses. This is all in the news bulletin today. Stay connected with Saint Soldier Times on Facebook and YouTube.